Well, for now, the mice and rats are safe. Today for Mousetrap Monday, instead, we're gonna go after one of the biggest garden pests I have right now, slugs and snails. They're getting in the strawberry patch and eating the berries before I can harvest them. It's so frustrating. I found on Amazon a really cool looking snail trap for only $10. It's ceramic, painted green, and made in the shape of a snail. Supposedly, you put bait inside, the slugs and snails will climb up there, go inside, and with that sharp lip, they can't get out. We're gonna test it out and see, but for $10, it might be a good solution. Now, this isn't the first slug and snail trap I featured on this channel. Several years ago, a YouTube viewer named Marcus from Sweden invented a 3D printed slug and snail trap that we baited with beer. But for this trap, I'm gonna use one of their favorite baits, strawberries. We'll place them inside. Now for demonstration purposes, I went in the woods and caught some snails. This is one of the biggest. It's not a garden pest, it's a native species that mostly eats decomposing vegetable matter. But because it's so big, we're gonna use it to test out. I also got some slugs. Now these can be the nasty pests. I don't like these at all. We'll start by looking at this native snail. It's pretty big. It's crazy how its eyes just pop out of its body. One of the cool things about this snail is when I caught it, I placed it in a jar overnight and it laid eggs. It looks like snail caviar. And here are a few of the slugs I found. These are non-native, they're from Europe, and they are so destructive. Now a crazy thing about this slug is, I actually found it eating one of the mice I caught. Who knew a slug would eat a dead mouse? I'm very curious how well this trap works, so I'll place our snail and slugs on there and see if they go inside. These guys are slowly moving the wrong way. I'm gonna turn them around and speed things up a bit. Well, it looks like the slugs and snails have no problem going inside. It's so crowded in there that this one's coming back out. If you put a little beer in there, they'll drown, but they'll be drawn in. It seems like a pretty good solution. This is covered with slime though. We're gonna test it out in a real life scenario. I'm gonna place this in the garden in the strawberry bed and see if we can catch any of the slugs and snails eating my berries. Here's my strawberry patch. I filled the bottom of the trap with beer and I'm gonna place a ripe strawberry. We'll set it right on the dirt and see how many slugs and snails come and get caught. We'll leave this for a couple days and see what happens. Well, it's been a few days that beer's dried up in there, but we got some slugs. I'm gonna pour some water and wash them out. There's that strawberry. Well, here's our catch. We got four smaller slugs and one tiny slug. It didn't work on the big slugs, but the smaller ones couldn't get out. Now the beer dried up pretty quickly or leaked out. It's not waterproof, but with that lip in there, they couldn't escape. I'm really happy, especially for $10. Now I have the best viewers who watch my videos. The fan art just keeps coming in. I love seeing the pictures. If you're not a subscriber, please consider clicking the button. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, and slugs and snails, stay tuned.